Robbie, just ask you about the FA Cup draw first of all, which took place on Sunday. We're at home to Weaver Tamworth for Notts County. What's your immediate reaction to that? Well, the first thing you want is a, is a home tie. So we're really pleased with that. Obviously, the, the fact that they've gone to a replay means they're quite evenly matched teams. So um, whoever we do get to play, it will be a really tough game for us. So um, we've got important games before then, which we need to focus on. Um, but I'm sure that when that comes around, we'll be ready for it. Yeah, we'll talk more to you about it um, when the when the time comes. But it was, I guess, it's the the first FA Cup draw for you as a manager. Were you sort of watching on as a bit of excitement as that as that draw took place? Honestly, no. Um, <laughs> I was at kids football all day yesterday. Uh, the chairman texted me to say he was pleased with the draw, um, so I had to ask him who we had. Um, but that's not taking you out of the ball. I was I was just busy with family time yesterday. So um, you know, when it comes around, we'll be as as prepared as we always are. Um, you know, it's important to me that we try and get a, a good cup run. I think it, it sort of galvanises the playing squad, the, the club, if you can get through to that third round and hopefully bring a, a big boy here. Just start reflecting on, on Saturday for uh, a moment. I know you said after the game you were sort of a mixture between frustrated at conceding late on but pleased with the performance, especially in the, the second half. How's the sort of reaction to it now you had a couple of days to reflect? Similar, really. Um, I think once you put so much effort into the the game uh, and with our quality of play second half, um, you know, to, to, to not quite see it out and get the three points is, is still frustrates me. So, um, what I've told the players after the game and what I've said to them again this morning is um, there was lots of pleasing aspects, but we actually didn't win the game. So, bottle that feeling of frustration and take it into the game tomorrow night and use it as a, a motivation to, to do even better. You can actually yes, take both sides of it, can't they? You can be proud of what they did, in, especially in that second half, but also use that disappointment to, to fuel them going forward. Yeah, I was, I was pride. I use the word pride, and you know, it's maybe a touch strong. I was just so pleased that we reacted the way we did. Um, like you say, we're we're a very young team, um, and it's the first sort of dip they've, they've had with me over the, the last three, four games. Um, but I also think within those three or four games, we did well enough to get some results. Um, I'm not saying we played well, please, you know, I don't want to confuse the issue, but at Bradford we created several golden opportunities to, to score a goal, so um, that's why I was still relatively calm. There was obviously a couple of games in there that we didn't play well, which is going to happen. So the fact that we didn't play to our best in the first half, but we were somewhere back to where we were in the second is, is, is a really pleasing thing for me. But we need to make sure we try and do that over 90 minutes and not just 45. And just looking ahead to, to Tuesday night, what's your made of Salford so far this season? Yeah, I watched uh, a couple of games last night. Um, a strong team, some experienced players in it. Um, I think we, we, can, we can cause them issues with our players, but certainly we need to defend properly. Um, and we need, to, we need to get back to doing what we do. And we saw signs of that, certainly in the second half on Saturday. What's the sort of fitness and injury updates like since the weekend? Did everyone come through unscathed? No, it's the same really. Um, Stephen Dooley will be missing Tuesday. Josh Andrews, obviously, a bit more long term. I'm hoping Dools will be training in the back end of this week and be available for selection um, for Saturday. And obviously, Matty Dawn as well, which I don't think we've mentioned, tested positive for COVID last week. So um, he'll be obviously missing during his isolation period. I think just finally as well, we've sold um, nearly 600 tickets already for Tuesday night's game, a short trip for the fans all to solve and it'll be good to have their back in there as well. Oh, definitely. Um, you know, the, the supporters are, are vital to us and we want to make them happy and we want to give them things to cheer and that's that's the aim. Um, you know, we, we let them down in the last derby, let's make sure we don't do it again.